it's your image, man. You cool, you low key, you got to camouflage hat. She amazed me. He was constantly on the move. Rapping, acting, schmoozing, Yo, you playing him, football, so and spending time with his girlfriend, Jennifer. She loved me. She loved me now. She loved me. And he was constantly leaving me messages. Hey, fat boy, wake up, man. It's Nate. Tonight, um, my boy want me to be on the radio station, you know what I'm saying? To talk about the shit, so I don't know, um, um, if you can be able to get the cameras or whatever, but, um, I'll contact you about it later. Come on. Sometimes I follow Nate into parts of the city where I wouldn't have dared stop my car alone. So if you was a rattler, then show me one of your little moves. I'm talking about rattlers get. I don't mean like, okay. you know what I'm saying? One of the six hundred. You, bang. You, bang. Bam. You, 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 you. Fuck it, fuck it, uh, uh, <laughs> rat love, okay. Hey, you was in the house then. You Ooh, was there. Yeah. You was in. The, you feel it? I feel oh, that no. shit too. Brooklyn room, back at the back at the broke at the room. Okay. Hey, you want something to eat, man? Go get us oh. something to eat, man. Okay. It was a strange time for me. I felt pulled into Nate's story and hated to miss any of the action, but I was terrified to go into those places. I'm, you know I'm just afraid around? of the trouble, but you know, if I'm with, with your guys and there's enough light there, we should be okay, you know? But you can't fault me for being afraid of going there. How could you? Because look at me, look you at choose, me. you. I didn't come to you and say, do this documentary I know, on me. But you came to me and say, I'm gonna follow you. And damn, this is where I'm gonna go. And now you saying, Oh, oh, I ain't going over there. But you gotta you know, realize. Man, what's up with you, man? You gotta you realize. You gonna be real with this shit or you ain't, man. It's gonna drop. You gotta I realize no, that sometimes. I ain't sometimes no manatee. It... I ain't no manatee, man. You... I was beginning to understand the difference between putting together a documentary about wildlife and making a film about another human being. During his gang days, Nate idolized Tupac Shakur and Tupac's thug life credo. And now he was trying to live what he called a love life. Now I'm stuck like Chuck, I get my tattoo, and then I pack my gap, I'm ready to pay my dues, my biggest dream in life, become an OG, and make my money seeker, no one seems to understand me, I'm just a thug nigga, they want to lay a bag, got a drug dealer, but how the hell they figure, I'm like a black panther, fit me cause I'm still in college, I'm screaming black power, hear me trying to speak with knowledge, thug life, I gotta be the smartest one in the game, I love life, and thanks to my boy, I can maintain out my street knowledge legit know what I mean but the hell we keeping it real I'd rather keep it clean I love life Tupac Shakur someone I never met before but we both black and you told me where my heart was at and since they put you to rest I consider you I used to represent that thug life but I give it up I'm not a thug life player I like to love life yeah. to all you youngsters I've been Stop and throw your hands up. Man, you can't remember what you said. Dog, this one's for you. 
You know, he got good things that. Now check this out. I really wanted him to succeed. Somewhere in my middle class Jewish upbringing, the burning to be rich, famous, or notorious had been thwarted. But I could vicariously experience that feeling through Nate. You know, and I can't sit around and wait on football to be like the, the way I, you know, I look in the mirror and I say, Nate, I can get out right now. How? We can do it right now. You know how? Only thing we got to do is, you know, do what we've been doing all our lives and see which one pay us first. In preparation for his big plans, Nate dressed well and somehow put together the money to get a nice car. He understood the importance of projecting an image. I mean, I feel like impression is your best impression. Uh, you saw the pictures of the pair jungle when he held them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His dad died suddenly during his junior year in high school. When my dad passed, Marlon was the first one. Him and Earl came together. I was in the room crying, you know, <clears throat> because I never let my mom see me cry because my older brother told me, you know, you got to be strong for your mom. And I cry in my room a lot, man. You know, even now sometimes, you know, I shed a tear too. But Marlon told me, hey, man, you got to stay strong for Mr. Bruno. <clears throat> and he was there just talking to me like words of wisdom, you know, for me. You know what I'm saying? Things I needed to know. That's why, that's why you know, I fight so hard for, 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 for his family. And I try to, um, to make them feel how he made me.